Good afternoon. This is Jun Hua Yu from Seoul National University. Today, I'd like to talk about luminescent serial nanodots, and then we can use it to reveal the size of a nano cage. Nano cages are quite common. We can find it from natural protein, or virus like particles, or even a toxic nanopore. Right, people have used this nano cage as, uh, as a special container right, to prepare nanoparticles. How we understand the nano cage, you can get it from TM image, for example, or do it by dynamic light scattering. So whatever, it can only know the external size of the nano cage. How to get the internal size of a nano cage? People, of course, grow crystal or use the NMR to detect water inside the cavity. Oh, of course, here another example use infrared spectroscopy. So, those things are hard to do. Is there any way we can do it fast and straightforward? There is, I think as the foster resonance energy transfer of FRED. So use FRED, we can sense the nanometer scale dimensions while keeping the target intact. If we do FRED, we need a, a donor. So they can absorb a photon and go from ground state to excess state. Yeah, possibly they can emit another photon, come to ground state again. But before it come back to ground state, if there's another molecule, for example, acceptor approach to it, so the energy will transfer from the donor to the acceptor. Okay. This energy transfer efficiency depends on distance. With farther distance, the transfer efficiency is low, but if it's shorter distance, the efficiency is high. So from this transfer efficiency, we can know the distance between the donor and the acceptor. Here we use silver nanodots. What are silver nanodots? Actually, they are stable luminescent silver clusters, but they have to be protected by some protection group, for example, polymer PAA, or peptides, or single-stranded DNA. Why we like it? Because they have wide spectral range from the blue to near IR. They are also very stable. For the stable here, also bright. The left one is from single molecule of the silver nanodots, and the right is from Texas right. When Texas right is quenched beam, the silver nanodots are still bright, stable. The other property we like it because the silver nanodots have very large two photon absorption cross section. So we can use the silver nanodots to detect the nano cage in protein. <laughs> but before we do that, we can find the model as the reverse myself. Reverse myself is the water in oil, right? So they are separated by this surfactant. Okay. The water nano cage over here of the reverse myself resemble the polar pockets in enzyme people use as model. But to understand those water poles, actually people understand the whole uh, particle, right? The reverse myself by DRS. All people want to get something inside this optical sensor to uh, sense the viscosity of this water phase. But it's not directly. Well, when people study this one, people also found something not so consistent. So one thing people think, right, so when you add more water into the uh, reverse myself, suppose the size of the nano cage will increase. But in this paper, they mentioned that as you increase the water content, the size of the nano cage first increase and then shrink again. But of course, some people say, oh, it will increase continuously. So which one is true? So we try to use the silver nanodots to 
put the serum dots into the water pool, and then we form a flat pair. And from the flat efficiency, we know the distance between the dominant exception, and we know the size of another page. One good thing is we can prepare seven and dots directly, right? From here, we can see uh, right emitter. We can also uh, prepare the seven and dots by transforming the right emitter to, for example, blue, yellow, green. So in this case, we can do it, get the flat pair. But it's really rare to see the flat pair reported. The reason, because it, the chemical efficiency general for a uh, serum adults actually is low. But if we put the serum adults in the very small container from the reverse myself, then maybe we can see something. For this emitter, we can excite it at 560 and get the emission 615. If we put this emitter into a reverse myself, we see a new emitter came up. So this emitter has 440 excitation and the 520 emission. Of course, we can also observe other emitter from here, 570, 635 to generate 440 and the 530. So when we put one emitter there, two emitters are generated. And what's interesting here is we see here the spectrum. So this is the excitation spectrum of the 615, right? That means, this spectra shows if we get 615 emission, we have to excite it. All right, from here we see, if we get 615 emission, we can excite it actually at 440. That means we excite the downer, 440, we get the emitter, emission, right? Accepted emission, right? So that means threat actually happens inside the reverse myself. This is from the, this left emitter, transfer to the right emitter. Basically, the left is the downer and the right is the okay. From those things, we can calculate the R0, actually 4.5 nanometer for the left pair. Right, so that is at the point eight uh, W0. At the point eight W0, what, what, can, what they can see here, this is the emission, emission spectra of this flat pair. When we accept as a downer for 40, right, we see the emission of the downer, and then we see emission of the exception. Right? So when we at the small W0, we accept as the downer, and then we see strong accept emission, as strong flat happens. Okay? As we increase the water contents, and it's W0 to form zero, we see a fourth and one, we see the uh, emission of the accept actually get dropped quite a lot. That means the flat efficiency decrease. Similarly, we can also detect the, the lifetime. When we increase the water contents, the lifetime of the downer increase. That means it is quenched much lessly. Uh, what happened? The flat efficiency actually dropped. So from the lifetime measurement, we know the quantum yield of fret efficiency. And from the fret efficiency, we know the distance. Okay. So from these two equations, we can calculate what are the fret efficiency from here. <clears throat> As W0 increase, the fret efficiency drop. But as the uh, uh, W0 increase, actually the distance between the donor acceptor increase from 5.8 to 7.5. That means the greater the W0, the larger the separation between the donor acceptor. So can the, the distance of the previous slides reveal the real size of an outer cage? We here we have got some uh, example. Well, in case we use organic dyes. So the organic dyes are dissolved in the outer cage. Right, so now this is the distance. But this distance will not reveal the real nano cage size because they are in the solution. But if we increase the constitution of the <clears throat> dye in the nano cage, the flat distance, suppose we decrease. 
And the higher the concentration, the smaller the flight distance should be. But if we use DNA-based semiconductors, because the DNA, they are negative charged. Between two DNA molecules, they have strong repulsion. So naturally, they try to distance from each other. Well, if we increase the concentration, what well, suppose the fright distance will not change too much. First, they separate from each other. Second, if the concentration is low, right? When we double the concentration of our similar dots, we didn't see the change in the fright distance. That means, oh, from here, we can see that the fright distance between the donor acceptor actually tell the nano cage size. What well, that means from our study, we see that as the water contents increase, the nano cage size increase. But from Shelley model, perhaps you have mentioned that a bit, indicate that the aggregation number of surfactants start to decrease once the W0 reaches one. Okay. What well, another model? They also mentioned that, okay, as the size of the water contents increase, actually the size of the um, nano cage decrease, but actually that's opposite from what they have observed. They said, once the water content increase, the water more like the bio cage, but we see that the larger cells should represent a lower ratio of water molecules on the nano cage surface. So that results in more bug-like water contents. So this conclusion opposite to what they have thought. But whatever here clearly show that as the water contents increases, the nano cage size increase, or opposite the shiny mode. Oh, but this is inconsistent, consistent with our model. That means the greater the W0, the larger nano cage. So we try to confirm this by the cryo TM. So the cryo TM clearly show the size of this nano cage is about 7.8 nanometer. Uh, one thing we I want to show here to address here is the silver nano dots here reveal the nano cage very well. But the silver is more obvious under the TM. I also have to tell you that if we use conventional TM, we see very large the reversible cell size, right? We know that during the preparation at the room temperature, actually the reversible cell gets collapsed. So how do the reversible cell involve? And at the three W zero three point three, we see it has spherical diameter seven point five nanometer. But with this diameter we got from the fret, we here this shows if we have series number, but this is series number with this uh, diameter, if it's spherical, suppose we should get more water over there, but actually we get the less water. So that means this reverse cells, not a cage, are not spherical. They are ellipsoid. So that means at very low water contents, those reversible cells are ellipsoid. And the aspect ratio is high. But as the water contents increases, and then they become what kind of thing? Spherical, and the aspect ratio is one. So I hope today my talk gave you some information. That is, we can generate silver nanodots based fret pair in a small container. And this bulk size of this DNA and the repulsion between the DNA stabilized silver nanodots can reveal the real size of the nano cage of the reverse cell of the later paper protein. And clearly, the information the greater the W0, the larger the nano cage will be. And accuracy of the fret measurement have been verified with cryo TM. So 
our strategy, I think, is fast and straightforward. And then we also show that the early stage of the reverse cells may be ellipsoid. And the aspect ratio of its ellipsoids decreases as the water contents increases. Right? And this is how this uh, interesting work. I hope you like it. And this project was done by um, Simone and Yandu. Right? Of course, we need to thank this financial support from NRF. Thank you.